My name is Carlos Ramirez. Carlos Ramirez. I'm an artist. I'm part of the date farmers. One half. My name is Armando Lerma, and I'm an artist. One half of the date farmers. Grew up in Indio, California, and Coachella, in the desert near Palm Springs. The type of art that was in the neighborhood was on walls or, or coming out of prison or uncles, cousins that were in the gangs and stuff. I mean, you know, it wasn't really refined or, or like fine art or anything like that. It was pretty raw. It, it was impressive, I think, as a kid to see that, like just the time it took to do, just the way it was laid out and how it told the story about something that you'd either seen or heard about. It was familiar throughout the neighborhoods. I would sit there and try to copy a lot of it. I think that's how you learn. One of my cousins who's a really good artist, I always liked seeing his art because it was personal art that was about him or something that he experienced. So it was different than the artwork I would see like Picasso in an encyclopedia or something, where I didn't really know where it was coming from, but his was more um, was personal, like telling his own story. I like that aspect of art. And that's what makes it exciting is that, you know, it's, it comes from, from us, like our lives, telling our story, and we're more involved in it, you know, as opposed to some kind of just abstract painting that I don't know what it means. I always tended to drift that way towards art more, to, towards creativity. It's just some badass stuff, you know, that I like to do. Like, you know, I just never left it, you know, and I grew up doing it, still doing it today. But it's been more of a journey more than anything else, you know, like a journey within the art itself, a journey like physically meeting different people. Like just say, it's, it's so hard to explain because the combinations are endless. We're preparing for a show at the Ace Gallery. We've been sort of hoping to be able to do something in that scale. It's like so much bigger than what we're used to. It's a challenge, you know, but I think we're ready for it. It's a really big space, but uh, and at first it was a little intimidating, but I think we have a good idea of what we want to do and we understand how to approach it. So we got a, we got a couple months, so a couple good, good months to get some good work in. It's been 10 years that we've been working together, doing art, and this is a big show. And we're trying to keep it you know, exciting, and it's been 10 years, you know? It's like to keep the artwork fresh and, and to still have the same sort of excitement about doing the art. And we're just trying to keep ourselves focused on that because it's, it's a struggle, <laughs> right, Carlos? <laughs> it's a struggle, and, and that's what I'm telling you. It's, it's uh, sometimes you get frustrated doing a piece, and Still, at this point, you know, 10 years later, like, it's like, ah, oh, this sucks, I don't like it. But then you kind of keep working at it, and, you know, and then sometimes those pieces that you don't like, you know, end up like, oh, there it is, I like it now. So it's just not letting go and being persistent and, you know, enduring through all the doubt, because it's weird, it still comes up sometimes, you know? Doubt, like, uh, which way to go? But this is a really important part of our careers, and we can't fuck up. <laughs>
Well, we've done everything, like the framing, hanging, painting the walls. This place is super huge. So we've been doing carpentry work, wall painters, just everything. Picking up trash, hanging art. And we did a shark that is in the animal room. Yeah, this is the animal room, and I think it has a lot to do with like being innocent, you know? Like some of the first interesting things that you see as a kid. We have a space room that has to do with the universe, you know, and that's just it's just another part of the bigger picture. You must learn. You must learn. You must learn. I was nervous before we hung the show and before we saw the show, but I'm pretty, I like what I see. I'm happy with the artwork. We've worked really hard. Now it's out of our hands. I know that a lot of art people will see it and it'll take on its own energy after this. But me and Carlos are happy with it. It's our best show. We've never done anything this big. It has nothing to do with us, you know? Like we do the yard and then it kind of goes out into the world and it does its own magic. So we'll see what it does. Well, you know, people come in and see the work and we just kind of hope that what they're looking at is, you know, like it touches them in some way, you know? It's part of what we do and, you know, and I just hope people see something that affects them, you know? Because, you know, that's the way it works. It's like an exchange when it comes to the work, us and the people, whoever sees it. You know, sometimes it goes good. It's like, it's like you're saying something. It's a really big deal, you know, to see them do so well because our town, like, nobody really made it out of our town. And to see them develop this and bring it to a big city like Los Angeles and other cities that they've shown in Europe is really impressive and super encouraging. We didn't really know where our career was going, what the next step was. This space gave us uh, inspiration, a motivation to do stronger work, bigger work, better work. I think art is born in a millisecond, you know, like a split second, and once it's born, like whatever shape, form, whatever you use to put it together, or, you know, it's so deep. It's just what it is, it's composition.